Information economics or the economics of information is a branch of microeconomic theory that studies how information and information systems affect an economy and economic decisions. Information has special characteristics, it is easy to create but hard to trust. It is easy to spread but hard to control. It influences many decisions. These special characteristics as compared with other types of goods complicate many standard economic theories, the subject of information economics is treated under Journal of Economic Literature Classification Code GEL D8 Information, Knowledge, and Uncertainty. The present article reflects topics included in that code. There are several subfields of information economics. Information as signal has been described as a kind of negative measure of uncertainty. It includes complete and scientific knowledge as special cases. The first insights in information economics related to the economics of information goods. In recent decades, there have been influential advances in the study of information asymmetries and their implications for contract theory, including market failure as a possibility. Information economics is formally related to game theory as two different types of games that may apply, including games with perfect information, complete information, and incomplete information. Experimental and game theory methods have been developed to model and test theories of information economics, including potential public policy applications such as mechanism design to elicit information sharing and otherwise welfare-enhancing behavior. Topic. Value of information The starting point for economic analysis is the observation that information has economic value because it allows individuals to make choices that yield higher expected payoffs or expected utility than they would obtain from choices made in the absence of information. Topic. Information, the price mechanism and organizations Much of the literature in information economics was originally inspired by Friedrich Hayek's the use of knowledge in society, on the uses of the price mechanism in allowing information decentralization to order the effective use of resources. Although Hayek's work was intended to discredit the effectiveness of central planning agencies over a free market system, his proposal that price mechanisms communicate information about scarcity of goods inspired Abba Lerner, Jolling Koopmans, Leonid Hervich, George Stigler and others to further develop the field of information economics. Next to market coordination through the price mechanism, transactions can also be executed within organizations. The information requirements of the transaction are the prime determinant for the actual mix of coordination mechanisms that we will observe. Topic. Information asymmetry Information asymmetry means that the parties in the interaction have different information, e.g. one party has more or better information than the other. Expecting the other side to have better information can lead to a change in behavior. The less informed party may try to prevent the other from taking advantage of him. This change in behavior may cause inefficiency. Examples of this problem are adverse selection and moral hazard. A classic paper on adverse selection is George Akerlof's The Market for Lemons. There are two primary solutions to this problem, signaling and screening. For moral hazard, contracting between principal and agent may be describable as a second-best solution where payoffs alone are observable with information asymmetry. Topic. Signaling Michael Spence originally proposed the idea of signaling. He proposed that in a situation with information asymmetry, it is possible for people to signal their type, thus credibly transferring information to the other party and resolving the asymmetry. This idea was originally studied in the context of looking for a job. An employer is interested in hiring a new employee who is skilled in learning. Of course, all prospective employees will claim to be skilled at learning, but only they know if they really are. This is an information asymmetry. Spence proposed that going to college can function as a credible signal of an ability to learn. Assuming that people who are skilled in learning can finish college more easily than people who are unskilled, then by attending college the skilled people signal their skill to prospective employers. This is true even if they didn't learn anything in school, and school was there solely as a signal. This works because the action they took going to school was easier for people who possessed the skill that they were trying to signal a capacity for learning. 
Topic: Screening. Joseph E. Stiglitz pioneered the theory of screening. In this way the underinformed party can induce the other party to reveal their information. They can provide a menu of choices in such a way that the optimal choice of the other party depends on their private information. By making a particular choice, the other party reveals that he has information that makes that choice optimal. For example, an amusement park wants to sell more expensive tickets to customers who value their time more and money less than other customers. Asking customers their willingness to pay will not work, everyone will claim to have low willingness to pay. But the park can offer a menu of priority and regular tickets, where priority allows skipping the line at rides and is more expensive. This will induce the customers with a higher value of time to buy the priority ticket and thereby reveal their type. Topic. Information goods Buying and selling information is not the same as buying and selling most other goods. There are three factors that make the economics of buying and selling information different from solid goods. First of all, information is non-rivalrous, which means that consuming information does not exclude someone else from also consuming it. A related characteristic that alters information markets is that information has almost zero marginal cost. This means that once the first copy exists, it costs nothing or almost nothing to make a second copy. This makes it easy to sell over and over. However, it makes classic marginal cost pricing completely infeasible. Second, exclusion is not a natural property of information goods, though it is possible to construct exclusion artificially. However, the nature of information is that if it is known, it is difficult to exclude others from its use. Since information is likely to be both non-rivalrous and non-excludable, it is frequently considered an example of a public good. Third is that the information market does not exhibit high degrees of transparency. That is, to evaluate the information, the information must be known, so you have to invest in learning it to evaluate it. To evaluate a bit of software you have to learn to use it, to evaluate a movie you have to watch it. The importance of these properties is explained by DeLong and Frumkin in The Next Economy. Topic. Bundling Topic. More information In 2001, the Nobel Prize in Economics was awarded to George Akerlof, Michael Spence, and Joseph E. Stiglitz for their analyses of markets with asymmetric information. Topic see also topic References topic Further reading topic Papers Bakos, Yanis and Brinjolfsson, Eric 2000. Bundling and Competition on the Internet, Aggregation Strategies for Information Goods Marketing Science Vol. 19, No. 1 pp. 63-82. Bakos, Yanis and Brinjolfsson, Eric 1999. Bundling Information Goods, Pricing, Profits and Efficiency Management Science, Vol. 45, No. 12 pp. 1613-1630 Brinjolfsson, Eric, and Saunders, Adam, 2009. Wired for Innovation, How Information Technology is Reshaping the Economy, 1, ISBN 0-262-01366-5 ISBN 978-0-262-01366-6 Moss Kalel, Andreu, Michael D. Winston, and Jerry R. Green, 1995, Microeconomic Theory. Oxford University Press. Chapters 13 and 14 discuss applications of adverse selection and moral hazard models to contract theory. Milgram, Paul R., 1981. Good News and Bad News, Representation Theorems and Applications, Bell Journal of Economics, 12 2, pp. 380-391. Nelson, Philip, 1970. Information and Consumer Behavior, Journal of Political Economy, 78 2, pp. 311-329, blank, 1974. Advertising as Information, Journal of Political Economy, 82 4, pp. 729-754, Technology, 978-0134645957 Pissarides, CA, 2001. Search, Economics of, International Encyclopedia of the Social and Behavioral Sciences, pp. 13760-13768. Abstract. Rothschild, Michael and Joseph Stiglitz, 1976. 
Equilibrium in Competitive Insurance Markets, An Essay on the Economics of Imperfect Information, Quarterly Journal of Economics, 94, pp. 629–649. Shapiro, Carl, and Hal R. Varian, 1999. Information Rules, A Strategic Guide to the Network Economy. Harvard University Press. Description and scroll to chapter preview links. Stigler, George J., 1961. The Economics of Information. Journal of Political Economy, 69 3, pp. 213-225. Stiglitz, Joseph E. and Andrew Weiss, 1981. Credit Rationing in Markets with Imperfect Information, American Economic Review, 71 3, pp. 393-410. Monographs Berkeler, Orse, and Monica Butler, 2007. Information Economics. London, Routledge. ISBN 978-0-415-37346-3. Description and chapter arrow page links, pp. v. Shi. Doma, Sitzi and Hein Schroeder, 2013. Economic Approaches to Organizations. 5th edition. London, Pearson, 2, ISBN 0273735292 ISBN 9780273735297 Masomi, Esfandiar, 1987. Information Theory. The New Palgrave, A Dictionary of Economics, v. 2, pp. 846-51. Marilyn M. Parker, Robert J. Benson, H. E. Trainer, 1988.http//www.palgrave-journals.com//jeet//journals//v5//n1//abs//jeet1993a.html/information-economics, linking business performance to information Thiel, Henri, 1967. Economics and Information Theory. Amsterdam, North Holland. Topic Dictionaries The New Palgrave Dictionary of Economics, 2008. Second edition, Selected Entries and Abstract Links, Bubbles by Marcus K. Brunnermeyer. Information Aggregation and Prices by James Jordan. Information Cascades by Sushil Bhikchandani, David Herschleifer and Evo Welch. Information Sharing Among Firms by Xavier Vives. Information Technology and the World Economy by Dale W. Georgensen and Quang Vu. Insider Trading by Andrew Metric. Learning and Information Aggregation in Networks by Douglas Gale and Shachar Karev. Mechanism Design by Roger B. Meyerson. Revelation Principle by Roger B. Meyerson. Monetary Business Cycles Imperfect Information by Christian Helwig. Prediction Markets by Justin Wolfers and Eric Zitzovitz. Social Networks in Labor Markets", by Antony Calvo Armengel and Yanis M. Ioannidis. Strategic and Extensive Form Games", by Martin J. Osborne. Blogs 2018 Top 100 World Blog of Economics. TheIntelligentEconomist.com. Archived from the original on July 5, 2018. 2017 Top 100 Most Popular Personal Finance Blogs. Wisebread.com. January 17, 2017. Archived from the original on January 26, 2018.